It's been a brutal time for these families, forced to run from the bombs landing on their towns and villages in southern Idlib and northern Hama provinces. It's the last major area in Syria to be targeted by the Syrian regime and its allies. We left our home with the clothes we are wearing because of Bashar al-Assad's bombing. We are being bombed with about 50 shells a day. Two days ago, eight people were burned. Yesterday, a bakery was hit and six people were killed. On our way out, there was bombing. The old and the very young are making a new home at camps in northern Idlib province on the border with Turkey in very difficult conditions. There are those who've been here for a long time and life is getting no better. I have been displaced for two years. I left when my mother was injured in a Russian bombing. I couldn't stay there. Doctors told me I have to move her to a safer place. This is what happened in the past. But let's talk about what is happening now. We want the guarantors of the ceasefire to take action and try to stop this shelling. Activists say the town of Khan Shaikun in southern Idlib is almost empty. A local NGO estimates that more than 7,500 families have been displaced in the last three weeks alone. It's an area that's been dominated by a former al-Qaeda affiliate, Hayat Tahrir al-Sham. But the reports of the bombardments by both Russia and the Syrian regime indicate it's the civilian areas that are being hit. Francis Collings, TRT World.